Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Okay, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Hi, everybody. My name is High Priestess Ishara, and today is Ishtar Day. And I felt like I had to do a quick video on the power of Ishtar. Ishtar, oh, please, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ishtar is a derivative from the Easter egg, which is a representation of fertility, okay? It's all about fertility. And when we're dealing with Ishtar energy, we're dealing with blossoming and becoming a different thing, transformation. It's like how April showers bring May flowers. We've had the rains this April and now we're going into May. And so May is going to be the opportunity of the blossoming from the hurt that you've experienced this past beginning season. Now, the only thing you have to do is utilize your energy inwardly. Then you can set yourself up to win or gain on multiple perspectives with any situation you may be dealing with. Get your stones, get your crystals and your stones. Get your grids, your crystals and your grids. Sorry guys, work don't stop. Um, yes, and with this transformation, with this rebirth with this recreation of healing and getting better within the womb of hurt within the mother and the son together they can manifest together and mold into a what they call sexual exchange because two is coming into as one and giving the opportunity of creation, which is those eggs that everyone loves to speak about from the Easter bunny rabbits. Easter is a derivative from the dark goddess, Ishtar, I-S-H-T-R-A, Ishtar. And she was a sacred goddess high priestess that even though she had all this wealth, had to let go of all her wealth and bear her soul, body, and mind naked to the sister who hated her and to her sister's husband who she had to sleep with, these sexual contracts people, that she had to sleep with to free herself from a curse that she had to deal with. As a goddess, the curse didn't kill her, but it really fucked her over. So she had to fix it the best way she could. And the only way she could was to go to the sister that couldn't stand her, who ruled the underworld. And basic in my in how I've learned the story and fuck her husband. So then she could be free. So she bared her nakedness. She literally had to take off every piece of dark goddess garment that she had and acquired within her beautiful life. She lived thousands of thousands upon thousands of years, a beautiful life before she was got by someone and had to move on to the next life. So she fought for her energy, for her soul, even after her death by fighting within the underworld. And she slept with her sister's husband. But remember, she had to go through her sister first. I know. What she went through her sister was the pain, was the rain, April showers, what the husband was supposed to give her, which is, I'm not getting into this video, but basically sexual magic to heal generational curses and things of that nature. Once she got that from him, that was the rebirth so she can claim her throne for eons to come, you know? She had those tests. And like the gods before us, there are tests that sometimes have to be passed before you take it to the next level. And I'm talking about the inner reality tests, not the real world, VH1, 
the real world TV. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the inner reality. That's what's important to me as a high priestess and magical mystics like like me, magical mystics like my spiritual companion and my little inner circle we very different individuals you know what i'm saying we're very we think differently we talk about different things we move in in different ways so and we're usually well i'm usually missing in action everybody's always looking for me but can never fucking find me <laughs> okay unless i let you find me get your crystal stones Get your crystal stones. Get your grits. Get your crystal grits. Happy Ishtar Day, everybody. Happy Ishtar Day. I hope you are enjoying your Ishtar Day. So know that on this Ishtar Day, what the sleeping zombies call Easter, know that it is a ritual and a story that comes from pagan beliefs and from old ancient stories of my primordial gods. Okay? So know that these so-called mythologies do have some truth to it, but they've kind of like twisted the truth to a degree, you know? Get your crystal stones! Get your crystal stones, feed your body and your mind, enchanted by high priestess Ishara. Get your crystal stones here. So during this walk, you guys, whatever you're going through, whatever rain season that you had to go through, Know that you're coming in to your rebirth. You're coming in to your blossoming. You're coming in. You're coming in to your focus. Okay? But you have to build on a multi-dimensional level from the hurt. You have to reach over that apex of pain and look over the pain wall so you can experience and hook on to that Nirvana, your fearic pleasure fucking principle. There is a pleasure principle that only the orgasmic third eye cosgasms can actually inject and ignite in fire. Whether alone or whether not alone. If you tap into that cosgasm and you look past the can'ts and past the won'ts and past not strong enough and past don't have enough fucking money and past don't have enough cars and past don't have enough people and past don't have enough marketing and past don't have enough motherfuckers that understand and comprehend how important this shit is Woo! you look past that and over the apex and you hook on to the top of that fucking wall and you feel that pleasure of the euphoric nirvana and trust and believe as a woman who's done it time and time again it is something worth fighting for Ooh, it is something worth fighting for I kill I kill for my cosgasms I guess that's why people run from me <laughs> I kill for my cosgasms, for real. I don't play, you know. But when you're serious about your inner reality, when you're serious about your inner ascension, your inner walk, your inner rise, your, 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 your inner growth, your inner goals, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter what they say. It don't matter what they do. It don't matter how they feel. It don't matter how much they talk. It don't matter how much they feel. It don't matter how much they backbite. You utilize your internal black dot magic and I promise you, life is yours. Life is yours. See, I'm not one of those smart people. Like, I'm to be honest, like, I'm not a right-brained person. I'm more of a left-brained person. You know, I'm very creative. 
you know I love to draw as so I'm about to do now as soon as I get off this video with you guys you know what I'm saying I'm very creative I'm not a logical thinker so I'm more of one of those people that back in the ancient time my people were making symbols and hieroglyphs we weren't doing that writing thing we did that later on down the line but we were into symbols and writing writing on the cave walls and shit to that nature, you know what I'm saying, you know, in the Egyptian uh, uh, pyramids and all that shit. Yes, you guys, I am live. Give me one second. Get your crystal stones. Get your crystal stones. Get your crystal stones here. Crystal feeds the mind. Crystals feed the body. And crystals help with focus and protection. Get your crystal stones here. Enchanted by High Priestess Ishara. So you guys, utilize this healing time for your growth. Utilize this rebirth, this new growth, this new initiation of the fertilized egg cracking and creating a chick. Utilize this energy in May to acquire and to grab and grab all your wants and desires that you need within your life. No one is going to do it for you, but you. You have to do it. And you cannot be afraid to execute and at least try to do it. You know, it's like sucking a dick for the first time. You know, like, like, as a woman, I hope you're being honest with these motherfuckers. Yeah, this is the first time I'm sucking a dick, so it might not be the greatest blowjob you'll ever have in your life. Be, like, a lot of people are not honest with their sexuality, and it's really sad because it, it really hinders the growth of learning and growing within sexuality. Because sexuality is a high level and a high part, a high part of occult magic, of primordial magic. And if you don't comprehend it and don't learn it and don't grow from it, then you are doomed to be in a situation where there's no growth, where there's lack of growth, lack of focus, you know, lack of euphoric experiences within your situation. You know what I'm saying? So face fear dead in the eye. Be like, be like, be like fear fear you know you 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 come i'm okay this is how you face fear i'm gonna tell you how to face fear all right this is how this is a how-to real quick i'm gonna tell you how to face fear you step up to fear right you step up to fear and you say <laughs> hold on for a minute hold on i want to do it right give me one second one second <laughs> Okay, sorry you guys. As I was saying, you step up to fear like this and you say, fear, you look here. Yeah, this is how I want you to, to speak to fear. I don't care what you're fearing. I don't care the situation. I don't care the person. I don't care who the person is. You step up to fear. You look fear dead in the eye and you say, fear, look at here. Okay, buddy? You gonna sit down and act right, okay, buddy? And you face that fear, and you speak with fear. You speak to fear like a master. You speak to fear like a king. You speak to fear like a queen. You speak to fear like you running shit. Get your crystal stones here. Get your crystal stones here. Some people would be like, Ishara, why are you selling stones at a nude beach? People are not carrying money. 
I don't care. It's Ishtar Day, and I wanted to be around sacred, divine, sexy energy. And it ain't nothing like a nude beach for fucking sexy, sacred, divine stones. Get your crystal stones here. Okay? All right. So, you guys, face fear. Always face fear. And never, ever, ever run from it. Never, ever ignore it. And never, ever, ever pretend like it's not there. Because you know why, you guys? When you pretend like it's not there, it don't matter because it is there. Even though you're not registering it, it is there. And because it's there, it's affecting your situation. So the best way to face fear, you guys, or to face an obstacle that's difficult to reach or a high goal that you don't think you can achieve the best way to do it is to fucking face it. Is to face it. Look, or if you don't want to be that nice, you tell fear, you stand up fear, say, yo, look, fear. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who you are. We's about to do some things and I don't give a fuck if nobody like me. I don't give a fuck. If nobody get me, we's about to get our fuck on. You could do it like that too. However you want to do it. But running from it, ignoring it, hiding from it, all of that is not going to help with the upliftment and the up movement of your fear factor. Yeah, that's $10. Yeah, tourmaline helps with protectiveness. So you use that stone that I enchanted, then the levels of protection is like three, four times high. Mahalo. All right, what was I saying? Shit. Yes, so face fears, you guys. Look fear dead in the eye and say, look here, fear motherfucker. I'm not doing this shit no more. Either we gonna fucking fight or we gonna fucking fuck. What the fuck you wanna do? Now, as a sacred goddess, I'm good at fucking. And I'm good at fighting. I could throw, I could throw those hands. I can throw those hands. But I'm one of those to not fight fair. I'll taste a bitch before I fuck up a nail. I'm just saying. I'll tease a bitch before I fuck up a nail. But you guys, again, happy Ishtar Day. Happy Ishtar Day. Happy Ishtar Day to you. I hope you are enjoying this day to the fullest. I am. Actually, my day just started. and I'm still definitely into it. I think it's like three something now here in Hawaii on Sunday. It's still early here. So enjoy your Ishtar, excuse me, your Ishtar Sunday. May you face your fears and deal with your realities and conquer your your issues, your problematic situations, and your fear factors or your growing pains. Don't be afraid to tap into that hurt because past that hurt is an apex of nirvana and happy joy joy feel good pandora's box ecstasy and blissful notions of grandeur okay but not too many people are lucky enough to not only climb that ascension wall but you gotta learn how to fly a little bit too because it's either you flying or you hooked on, riding high, just swinging, swinging over the top, like. <laughs> if you're really good at it, you'll stop rocking back and forth and then you'll start flying. Start flying. Start flying. Because when you learn how to fly, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing fucking like it okay you guys that's enough i just wanted to share 
this Ishtar Day video to all my like minds. Enjoy this day and know that your sexuality is beautiful. Know that your spirit can totally connect with your pleasure principle within sexuality. Yes, I'm speaking of masturbation. Where you can connect with yourself and reach the highest of the highs. You can always also reach the lowest of the lows too, if you're not afraid of experiencing pain. It's very similar to that show, 70 Shades of Grey, 20 Shades of Grey. You know that, that book that was about the girl who got into this dark relationship with this rich kid and she went into a sexual contract with them? We're doing exactly that within our own lives, every fucking day of our lives with every motherfucker that we meet. There are spiritual contracts that are being created and written that people are getting attached to, which is inadvertently fucking up their situation. You know, people like me are very important. And I will forever be sharing my message out to people that once you learn origin, and you can definitely learn origin through me. I do tarot card readings. I also do uh, past life readings. Um, I also speak with the energies around you to find out what the issue and the problems are. You know, I'm basically a doctor of the etheric world, I guess you can say. Master doctor of the etheric world, because I'm a beast master for real. I even talk many animal dialects too. So, um, tap into your dark side, you guys, and get a little sexual if you want to. But do uplifting sexual practices with self. I challenge you. Touch yourself tonight. And fucking enjoy that shit. I challenge you to do that. And I bet you doing that will feed your karmaic laws of attraction energy more so than going for eight hours at your job to get that check that you depend on. My name is High Priestess Ishara, video vlogging live from beautiful Hawaii. Again, you guys, feel free to get at me at lifecoachhealing at gmail.com. Like and subscribe on HP Life Coach Healing or Life Coach Healing HP and Ishara Sadi on my YouTube channel. We're keeping cosmic families informed and productive. And also subscribe to my nonprofit organization, Feeding Children Minds to Feed Their Bodies by teaching them to make positive decisions with mu magical mystic music. Love and blessings, bliss and fire, and a little bit of gasm and blood to seal the creation mix. My name is High Priestess, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Get your stones, get your stones here. Crystal, hello. Crystal grid stones here. Later, you guys.